Hello everybody, it's Shady here, and today I want to talk about Dragon Quest 3 2D HD, which is one of my most hyped games this year, and I want to talk about why you should also be hyped as well. So, first of all, what is this game? So obviously, as it implies, this is a 2D HD remake of Dragon Quest 3, which, if you don't know, is um, basically in terms of the timeline, is actually the first game in the series. That's why this is being remade first. Uh, they have also announced that 2 and 3 will be out next year as a complete package, so you've got that to look forward to. Um, so yeah, basically we're playing as the the hero Erdrick, I believe is his name, um, who's referenced in Dragon Quest 1 and 2, who's the first guy to defeat the Dragon Lord. Um, and also, what makes this game great is it's kind of like one of the most like influ influential JRPGs ever made because uh, this is the first game to introduce the job system yeah it actually did it before Final Fantasy uh, because obviously this predates Final Fantasy 3 so um so yeah you so you have your main character you have um your party members who will all have different jobs can learn advanced jobs blah 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 um, and in this version they're going to be adding new stuff um they're just going to be adding tons of like quality of life changes uh, the visuals look absolutely stunning um and yeah i think it's going to be an amazing game so obviously um this is coming out on the 14th of november uh, for ps5 xbox series x switch and pc so yeah pretty much going to be able to play it wherever you want um yeah just to give a little bit of a rundown about dragon quest overall obviously yeah Many people might not know this, but Dragon Quest is kind of like the biggest series ever in Japan. It's like a massive deal. Uh, so essentially, um, yeah, when these games come out, they basically like the biggest selling games on w whatever platform, pretty much. Like, like believe it or not, Dragon Quest Seven, for example, is the biggest selling game on the PS One, um, and like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like for whatever system that's always going to be the best selling game like i think the pre-orders are through the roof in japan right now um obviously mainly on the switch you know but yeah i'm sure there's a few ps5 ones as well so um yeah it's always really funny because you have these stories about um basically a dragon quest release has to be essentially like a national holiday because no one turns up for work or school because they just want to play these games this is really funny i love that it's like you know rpgs are so loved in japan um and obviously there is an audience outside of japan that love these games as well so yeah it's just cool that we're getting an international release at the same time as well you know i obviously this is you know i'm going off on a little bit of a tangent here but i still remember those days when you know we weren't even sure if we'd get these games let alone uh, you know at all um because yeah if we were to get the games they'd be delayed like typically like you'd get the japanese release six months to a year later you'd get the north american release and then if you're lucky six months to a year later you'll get a european release so yeah it's just so cool that we've kind of advanced so much and now we can get worldwide releases for games it's so cool um but obviously back onto the game itself um, obviously, what's so great now is with a lot of these re-releases, what I love is they add these quality of life features. Because obviously, you know, when you're younger, you have all the time in the world and you can grind for hours and do whatnot. But as you get older, your time becomes more limited. You know, you're working all the time. Uh, maybe you have a family, blah, blah, blah. So there's all those conveniences there. So, you know, you've got the ability to fast forward, auto battle, all that sort of stuff. Um, I believe in this game... Um, in the original, you could only control the main character, but I think in this one, you can actually control everyone. I'm pretty sure it was one of the differences as well, so that's awesome. Um, also, I'm pretty sure you can, um, like, I think there's, like, multipliers and stuff for grinding and the like, um, difficulty selections, all that, which is awesome. Um, and then the game is also going to give you, like, um, new areas to explore as well. So, yeah, it's like a full-on remake, which is awesome. That will stay true to the original. Um, another cool thing is the um, 
I think it gives, I'm pretty sure it gives you the option for the traditional first person battle angle or uh, over the shoulder one, which is really cool. So yeah, there's a lot of like, just really great features in the game. And um, yeah, it's shaping up to be really awesome. So yeah, I've got it pre-ordered already. I'm going to be picking up the PS5 version. Um, I've never played this game myself, so you know, I've actually never really played many Dragon Quest games. The only one, um, I've only done Dragon Quest VIII, believe it or not, which was a, like a very late PS2 release. So I'm really looking forward to getting into the series. Like this is going to be my first proper step into getting into it. Um, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough on the channel as well, for those interested. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm picking up the PS5 version, because it's easier for me to record on that. So yeah, I'm sure most people are getting on the Switch, but yeah, you know. If you're interested, check it out. Like I said, 14th of November, PS5, Xbox, Series X, and S, PC, and PlayStation. So yeah, or you know, Switch, sorry. So yeah, check it out. Um, and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Um, if you like the video, like, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, and I'll catch you in the next one.